Does your coffee suck? Because when it comes to coffee, the flavor's in the details. What's going on everyone? My name is Rob and today we're going to be discussing five ways to improve your coffee experience. I'm going to help you make it better. Let's roll it. Now, most of us, I feel, grew up around, you know, coffee that was just basic. Nothing special or unique. It was like going up to the store and picking up a can of corn off the shelf. It was just coffee. Then everything changed. New waves of coffee started to pop up and a new age of coffee drinkers emerged. But it still needed help. Coffee turned into an event, a social status. It was a drink to share not just with your mom but a lover. A drink with sugar, caramel, whipped cream, ginger spice, and all that nice stuff. And that's where this video comes in. I wanna help you make coffee taste amazing just on its own. Let's begin. The first way to make your coffee taste great is to really just make sure you got the basics covered. You wanna make sure you're buying fresh whole bean coffee. You wanna make sure you're freshly grinding it. You wanna make sure your brewing device is clean. You wanna make sure you're using quality water. All the kind of basic stuff that you kind of learn in the beginning that really affects your coffee. You wanna have that solid base to kind of build off of is really gonna help you dial in that flavor that you desire. Now, the second way to improve your coffee is by trying different coffees. Now hear me out. For the longest time, I did not like coffee because I only tried bad coffee. I hadn't tried anything good yet. So you may like coffee. You may just have not tried the coffee that you really enjoy yet. And then even after diving into specialty coffee, there were still regions I stayed away from because I didn't really like. Like Columbia, because I really didn't like the flavors I kind of got from Colombian coffee. Until one day, I tried a Colombian coffee that blew me away. So it wasn't the region. It was just I hadn't tried enough Colombian coffees and different types of coffees to find one that I really enjoyed. Changing up roasters, regions, varieties, the type of coffee, all that can lead you down a path of quality coffee you never really knew existed. There are some coffee subscription services out there as well as just some great local roasters that are putting out some amazing coffee and you can try them out to really find a coffee that you really enjoy. I will link a couple down in the description below and then I'll also link a couple roasters that are local to my area. Now I'm not affiliated with anybody so you know choose as you see fit and I would honestly suggest you probably to choose somebody in your local area that way you can kind of develop that little relationship with them but i highly recommend taking just some time to experiment with different roasts different roast levels different varieties different coffees different regions and just see if there is a coffee out there that you prefer over what you're drinking now this one tip will improve your coffee drinking experience down the road like tenfold it, it will help out a lot the third way to improve your coffee is to just invest in a quality grinder you want to have an adjustable burr grinder that way you can adjust your grind to suit whatever brewing device device you are using. The finer the grinder's adjustment, which is measured in microns, is usually going to determine the price of that grinder. Uh, the price is also going to, you know, vary based on the material of the build, the burr design, and stuff like that. And you also need to invest in a grinder that matches your brew type. What are you brewing on? If you're doing filter coffees and stuff like that, then a good hand grinder is perfect. But if you're an espresso drinker, I'd probably suggest getting an electric grinder to help dial in that espresso grind that you're looking for. Now the grind consistency is just as important as the grind size. A grinder that produces a bunch of fines and stuff like that will negatively impact your cup of coffee. Now they got devices like the little Kruv sifter that will basically show you how many fines you're actually getting from that grinder. Quality grinders will produce less fines and grind your coffee at a more consistent and even size, but these suckers range in price. So higher quality you get in grinder, obviously the more pricey it's gonna be. I will go ahead and link two down below that I think are at the best price for the value right now. So you can check those out. The fourth improvement you should focus on is your water. Now we all know water makes up like pretty much 100% of the coffee. I mean, it's not 100%, but it's pretty dadgum close. So the quality of water you put in will greatly impact the taste of the coffee that comes out. Now down here in Louisiana, we all have wells and stuff. A lot of us that live out in the country. My water comes from like 800 feet underground and it has a lot of minerals and like it honestly has like a sulfur smell. So we got to use some pretty heavy duty filters to kind of get that taste correct. So investing in quality water, it may be investing in a filter to get your water to where it needs to be will improve the taste of your coffee like a lot. Now you can also experiment with different water tablets or powders that are for coffee. Third Wave Water has some. I'm not sponsored. They did send me this. I haven't really even tried them yet, but I'm going to be trying them this week. See if that even helps the taste at all. You know, I don't know. Maybe it's just a gimmick. Who knows? Now, the SCA, Specialty Coffee Association, 
has a really good area on their website that goes over water quality standards. I would highly suggest if you want to make sure your water is in check to check that uh, area of the website out. I will link that area of the website below in the description. If you want to check it out, highly suggest reading about the water quality standards. I mean, that is your coffee. The water is your coffee. You're just adding a little bit of grinds at the end to make it taste different. The fifth way to improve your coffee is really understanding ratios. Now bear with me, it's important. Ratios between water and coffee grounds have a substantial impact on the taste of your coffee. It's how you make a weak coffee versus a stronger coffee or anything like that. It's not really the roast level. It's the ratio. It's the ratio of coffee to water. You may want a 1 to 15, a 1 to 16, a 1 to 18, whatever suits you fancy. So basically, if you have 1 gram of coffee to 15 grams of water, it will be a stronger cup than 1 gram of coffee to 18 grams of water because it won't be as diluted. Now, you can adjust this as you see fit. This is up to you. Change it around. This is one of those experiments, but if you have the basics down and none of your basics are changing and you're only changing these ratios, then you can kind of see at what ratio is your coffee the best. Now, these ratios can change based on brewing device. Chemex and the V60 may be pretty similar. Your AeroPress is going to be different. Your Mocha Pot is going to be different. Your Espresso Machine is going to be different. Each kind of device has their own ratio that you need to kind of learn depending on what you're brewing on. And also using a scale to get that ratio down perfect, although not needed. I definitely brew without a scale all the time. I say I forget one or if I'm in the woods or whatever. I mean, you don't need it. But if you want to have a very good chance of getting a consistent cup of coffee day after day, weighing your coffee and your water is a about the only way to do that. Now, there are many ways to improve the quality of your coffee. These are just five that I think are very important. Getting the basics under control, experimenting with different coffees, different origins, different types, different varieties, purchasing a quality burr grinder to suit whatever brewing device you're using, making sure your water quality is in check, and a great understanding of ratios and which ratio of coffee to your brewing device is best for you. Coffee is more than just a drink. It's a lifestyle, it's a journey, and for me, it's just one big ongoing experiment. Every year, new and better coffees are coming out. I'm finding better ways to brew it, finding different ratios that I actually prefer. My taste is actually changing. And the more and more you dive down this coffee roasting, specialty coffee, coffee tasting rabbit hole, the better chance you have of finding that one coffee that finally just knocks your socks off. So... I truly hope you enjoyed this video, and I'd love to hear what you think is the single most important factor into giving you that perfect cup. Let me know in the comments below, and I will link some of the devices that I've talked about down in the description below. Check those out if you so desire, and I will see you next week. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Love y'all.